Hi guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video today. Hope you're all doing very well and having a great week. Today I am coming to you guys with a June and July combined favorites video because as I had mentioned in my last video, things got so crazy when July hit as far as doing a June favorites video. We went to the beach. I logged everything with me down to the beach and we just did not have time for me to shoot a video. So I figured I would combine both favorites. So this might be a little bit longer than it normally is, but I tried to really condense and really pick the items that were my absolute favorite. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first item I have to share with you guys I'm absolutely in love with. I've been loving this item since I got it. And it is the beautiful palace chain by Louis Vuitton. And mine is in Cerise, that beautiful red. I have been using this bag non-stop. It has been my go-to bag, especially when I'm going somewhere like to an amusement park or somewhere where I'd like to downsize and have a crossbody bag. I always reach to this beauty. And I just love the options with the chain. I have to say I use all three options. I use it crossbody, I use it with the chain doubled as a shorter shoulder bag, and then I also use it with a single chain by tightening this up like so for more elegant occasions like this. And I absolutely love it. It just looks so gorgeous. This bag holds all of my essentials and more. And I actually just want to take a moment to show you guys, because I was using this today, what I have in here. It's actually pretty impressive. Now I do have to say I have one item missing because it is a favorite. But here is what the inside looks like. So in the back I have my Adele wallet, my brand new wallet. And as you guys know, this wallet is the same size as the Insulet wallet. So it's very impressive that this actually fits in here. In the center compartment here, I just have some cosmetics. I'm sure if you'll be able to see, I probably have about five or six items in there. And then I have, I normally have my six key holder over here. I have my multi-cart, and then I have my other six key holder. So that's a lot of stuff that fits in here. And then my phone normally slides into this compartment as well on top of the cosmetics. So, and of course, if I were to downsize my wallet and use a compact wallet, I could fit two more SLGs in the back there. But because I just got the Adele and I'm absolutely obsessed with it, um, I'm able to fit it in here. So it's very, very impressive how much this baby holds. So the beautiful palace chain by Louis Vuitton. The next item is another bag. And this is my beautiful Roses Pochette from the Steven Sprouse Collection. This is another go-to bag for me. Now, this is more like going for a walk or going to like a playground type of place that I can really be hands-free and not as much of a dressy occasion, more of a dress down and of course more downsized. So I can fit a full-size wallet in here if I choose or I can fit a compact wallet with maybe a six key holder, my phone, you know, things like that. But it's a really, really nice piece. And of course, it is my favorite out of all my push-ups because it is so beautiful with that, you know, gorgeous roses print. So the beautiful roses push-up. And while we are discussing bags, I'll go ahead and show you guys my last bag that was my favorite for the month. The months, rather. <laughs> And this is the beautiful Monogram V Neverfull MM in pink. I adore this bag. And it's so hard to believe that this is my very first Neverfull. And I can totally see what the big hype is about with Neverfulls. This bag is just so practical, so functional. And I love the pouch that comes with it. I currently actually have it separate. And I am changing it from bag to bag because it's wonderful. I've been using it as a downsized cosmetic pouch if I would like something that doesn't take up as much space as my multicolor. This bag is just perfect. I took it to the beach with us and it really, really won me over when I saw how practical and functional it was down there. And of course it's so beautiful with this lovely print. And shoulder bags are growing on me. As you guys know, I am a speedy girl, but I am definitely seeing the value in having a shoulder bag. So definitely more Neverfulls to come in my collection. The Monogram V Neverfull MM. Okay, guys. So now, moving on to some SLGs and some accessories. 
So the first piece I'd like to show you guys is my lovely Rose Ballerine Vernie Clay. So beautiful, guys. I am loving this piece. I have to admit to you, I was a little apprehensive to use it the first, probably week that I got it. I was just so afraid. And then I thought, you know what? You buy these pieces to use them. Just watch how you place it inside of your bag. And I've had no problems. It's been fine. Now, I do try to place it beside monogram pieces. I try to avoid multicolor. I try to avoid any other pieces that are, you know, darker. For example, the Indian Rose pieces, things like that. And again, no problems. It's just such a nice, refreshing pop of color inside of my bag. I have really gotten Rose Ballerine fever, as my friend Kath says. Hi, Kath. And I actually have two more pieces that are coming. One will arrive tomorrow and one on Wednesday. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will probably see the one piece tomorrow. But I will do a video on Wednesday of these beauties that are coming. So the beautiful Rose Ballerine clay in Bernie leather. Next, just to show that I do have Rose Ballerine Fever, this is a two-in-one favorite. And this is the six key holder in Rose Ballerine. And I also have my drag-on strap attached by Louis Vuitton. And this is exactly how I use these pieces at the moment. I have used the drag-on strap on my insulate wallet and on different wallets before. And again, you can attach this to virtually any wallet. It's my favorite on the insulate, but I have attached it to the Emily wallet. I have actually attached it to the Adele. Any piece that has a zipper you can use this with, but I like to use it just like this. And even though I have my bag, I might walk around the store just like this. So my keys are you know, easy to access. And I'll show you guys what I did with the key holder as well, excuse me. But this is just such a practical piece. I have always loved the key holder. I do think that it trumps even the key clay as being the most practical piece in my entire collection. As you guys know, I do love key clays, but I love the key holder as well. They just both serve a different purpose for me. So opening this up, I have changed some things around. So I have the key fob to my car and I have my frequent shopper cards in here. And it's really, really nice because again, you can slide a card in the back there, but I switched this layout because I found oftentimes if I'm just running into a store and I'm only taking one key holder, I'm taking the one that has my car key. So it's nice to have my frequent shopper cards there. And sometimes I'll slide my bank card or some cash in the back there and that's all you need. So very, very useful. So the six key holder and Rose Ballerine and the Dragon Strap, both by Louis Vuitton. The next piece I have to share with you guys really created a buzz when I had first gotten it. And I am going to be doing a comparison on this in the next couple of days, guys. I promise I will. I am so sorry for the delay. And that is the lovely Insulate Coin Purse by Louis Vuitton. I will be doing a comparison between this and the Zippy Coin. I'll probably do that on Wednesday. I'll go ahead and do a back-to-back -back video after I do my reveals. So this is such a lovely pop of color with that ivory. I absolutely love it. And I had regretted not getting this piece back when it was about to be discontinued by Louis Vuitton. And... I just, I truly did regret it. So I was so happy when I came across this piece. It is just so wonderful. It's a nice downsized wallet. You do have your card slots here. You have three on the bottom, two on the top, making five card slots, slip pockets on either side. And I'm so sorry about the lighting. There you go. So you can see how it looks. And then of course you have this lovely zip compartment on the top. And I normally keep my receipts up there. I don't like to put coins in this wallet. So it's a great piece. It doesn't take up much space. The lovely insulate coin purse. And lastly, as far as wallets go, I have the Emily wallet with Rose Ballerine by Louis Vuitton. Absolutely in love with this wallet. I have to say I was not drawn to this wallet for the longest time. I just I just wasn't crazy about it. And it just must have been that the proper color wasn't released yet. And I'm surprised I didn't even like the fuchsia. But when Rose Ballerine came out, I fell in love. And I have to say the Insulet and the Adele are tied for my favorite wallet because they are very similar. And you guys will see I will be doing a comparison on those as well. But the Emily is second. I can't believe how much I love this wallet. 
that gorgeous pop of the rose ballerine through the side is so refreshing as well as the button detail and for only having four card slots this wallet really does have a lot of space i love that you have this slip pocket in the back you have a slip pocket in the front so both in the back and in the front of the monogram this compartment here is so large and this is where i have put my phone in here and i will attach the drag on strap to this little ring here and then you can also open up the zip compartment and i actually stuck some more cards down in there which really allows for a lot of space. So the Emily is a great piece. If anybody is thinking about trying it, I highly recommend it. So the Emily Wallet by Louis Vuitton with Rose Ballerine. The next piece I have to share with you guys, we're kind of moving into accessories for a moment, are my Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses. Now I do have to apologize. I do not know the official name of these. I got these a couple years ago. I call them my pink Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses. So I'll bring them in to show you guys the detail. And I'll show you on the side here, if you guys can see. Where it's, there you go, where it says DNG. But they are wonderful. They are nice and oversized, but they're not too much. I'll just show you guys, I'll try them on. And you've probably seen them in other videos. I absolutely love them. I love the effect um, to the eyes that you can actually see my eyes, but it is just darkened out a bit. They're such a wonderful pair of sunglasses. The shape is just so classy. I really do love big sunglasses. So these have been my go-to throughout the last couple months. I like to match my sunglasses to my outfit. And as you can tell, I wear a lot of pink. I actually wore these today. So the beautiful Dolce & Gabbana pink sunglasses. Next, we have my go-to bag charm for the month of June. This was a June favorite. And that would be the Playtime Bag Charm by Louis Vuitton. And I'll try to bring it in. There you go, to show you guys. This actually has Louis Vuitton written so nicely in a combination of metal and plastic letters. A lot of fun colors. And I actually really enjoyed hanging this on my Neverfull. That combination, I just could not stop carrying. It's just so gorgeous. You can do so many things with this charm. It's just the best pop of color. So the Playtime Bag Charm. Next, we have a few cosmetics, and this is my Chanel mascara. This is Le Volume de Chanel, and this one is in the number 10 Noir. I love this mascara. It is more so focuses on volume and a little bit of length. It is just incredible, guys. It almost looks like you have fake lashes on. I just cannot get enough of it. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So, the volume de chanel mascara next is another item by chanel that i recently tried and this is their um, translucent powder compact i'll put the exact name down below and uh, i'll put the color that i got as well there were three different color options this has just been absolutely lovely and i'll just go ahead and cover up the mirror and show you guys kind of what the powder looks like so as you can tell, it's just almost a little bit ivory, just a slight color to it. But when it goes on, it does have absolutely no color to it. And what I've been using it for is just for touch-ups. For example, I'm doing this video at the end of the day, so my makeup was kind of worn, and I just went ahead and touched my face up. I know a lot of people will also use this on top of their makeup, just as like, it's actually called a finishing powder. And I've used it for that as well. It is very nice, but I prefer it for touch-ups. So it's a wonderful piece and it does come with, I'll show you guys, you can see, just this little like cotton type sponge, which is nice for applications on the go. So the Translucent Finishing Powder by Chanel. And we are down to the final favorite, guys. Thank you for being patient with me. Like I said, this is a little bit longer than normal. And this would be a really neat phone case and charger that I picked up when we went on vacation. And I will put the exact name down below as well. This is by Michael Kors. We went to the Michael Kors outlet. And it is a charger case, and it's powered by Duracell. Again, the exact name will be down below. But it's really neat. So this is the phone case. 
show you guys. So it actually has a little USB port that goes into your phone when your phone is in here. And here's the back. As you can see, it just has Michael Kors on there, and it's black and white. And for me, it's been nice. I do have the iPhone 5S. I've been debating, do I want to get the 6, or do I want to wait for the next iPhone to come out? So this has kind of been my trial, because this makes my phone more comparable to the 6 to see if I like it size-wise. I really like being able to fit my phone into different wallets and things. So that's why I've been apprehensive to get a new phone. But what's really neat is... It comes with this and this is the charger now I'll just show you guys so this also has Michael Kors you guys can see my little rig up here <laughs> how I have my tripod sitting on uh, my child's little seat here so it's at the appropriate height so you guys can see behind the scenes a little bit but this is really neat because it just sits down and in the back here I didn't bother grabbing the cord but the cord attaches to here plugs into the wall and then what you can do and I'll show you it is actually magnetized you probably heard that so the phone attaches on to there and what this does is it charges the case and the phone at the same time so then when you're charged say you're out and about and your phone is dying say it's on 20 percent there's a button on the back here you just press that button it lights up to let you know that it's charging and it will charge your phone up completely so it has been wonderful for somebody that's always on Instagram and doing things like that that I have this backup and of course it is stylish so the charging case by Michael Kors so guys I think that covers everything thank you so much for taking the time to watch my June and July favorites I hope you guys enjoy them if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below. I would be happy to answer them for you. And I will be seeing you guys shortly for a comparison between the Adele and the Insulate Wallet. Talk to you soon. Bye.